My name is Ernesto Carmona. I am a professor of inorganic chemistry at the University of Seville. I was 70 last week, so this is a kind of celebration uh, because uh, afterwards uh, I will retire. I'm planning to retire. Uh, the thing is that uh, the university, since the academic year already started, the university allows me to go on until the end of the academic year. So I will actually effectively retire on September 30th. Uh, I arrived at Imperial College in September 1974, so long, long ago. And I recall my, my English was terrible, <laughs> really bad. Uh, I could hardly understand and speak. So it was difficult at the beginning. On the other hand, I was going to work for a Nobel Prize essentially on organometallic chemistry and they knew very, very little, nearly nothing about organometallic chemistry. So it was a, fan a fantastic, fantastic occasion. And I stayed there for three years. I stayed until September 1977 when I thought it was time to come back home. It was uh, a marvelous time. Uh, when we arrived, my wife was pregnant, and so our son was born on December 1974. So that very happy on the, the family side, and professionally for me was uh, actually the, the, the best, best option I could have think of. I, I learned a lot, met many people, <laughs> including uh, David Cole Hamilton, Dick Anderson, Bruno Chaudret, many, many good friends. We actually have been friends since then. And I learned enormously. In, in the three years, I got a background enough to, de to develop my professional career here in Sevilla. Yeah. I met Jeffrey Wilkins on the same, yeah, yeah, I was supposed to arrive. I don't remember the day, but one day in the afternoon, early evening, mm -hmm. I arrived over there. Uh, I, I remember I went to uh, his secretary office, and she, she was a very nice lady, but of course she couldn't speak Spanish. I could hardly speak English, so she immediately, I remember that, she immediately went to the lab and found a, a Venezuelan fellow who was doing his thesis uh, with uh, Professor Wilkinson, and he came over to help. He was in charge of the translation, making this easier. The name of this fellow is Roberto Sanchez Delgado, also a good friend of your father. And we, we've been, Roberto and I, been friends all over our lives. Unfortunately, he, he died a couple of years ago. But we, that, that was the first encounter, and immediately we went to see Professor Wilkinson, talk for a little while and then arrange. I, I had many things to do at the beginning outside, arranging papers and that kind of administration thing. But I started working a few days later. Uh, my my, my uh, remembrance are, are really, really nice. He would give you freedom to do anything I, I had to learn and so the first two or three months for me were very hard, but I had a, a research project, so little by little I started working, obtaining results. Uh, actually, only I, I went to Imperial College with a grant, a Spanish-British grant, sponsored by some institution in Spain and the British Council, uh, and that, that was for one year. And I remember that only four or five months after I arrived, Wilkinson offered me to, to, to stay there if I wanted to, uh, paying me out of his research money. And I stayed, and then later I decided to stay for another year. I became a, a research assistant at Imperial College until, as I said earlier, September 1977. I was working freely, as I said, but he would come very often, nearly every day, to find out what was new, as he, he would say, discuss chemistry, getting projects, research papers came out easily and readily, never had any problem with him on the country. I have to say that on the personal side, he also helped me enormously because uh, only a few months, uh, at the beginning, our stay in London was, was difficult because London, as you know, is an extremely expensive place and my grant was very short, so we were very short of money. But after maybe two months and a half or something, 
he managed to arrange an Imperial College flat for us. And for that, the rent was very reasonable. I, I could actually afford it. And it was in South Kensington. So what, what best? So I can only speak really good things of Professor Wilkinson. Um, the three years that I stayed there marked profoundly my, my scientific career. And I'm sure that you know, I, I have been able to organize my things here, create my group, thanks to the background, the chemistry that I learned with him.